As developers, we spend a ton of time in our code editors, specifically writing and reading code. That's why it's a good idea to spend a little bit of time to find a good coding font. In this video, I'll share some coding fonts that I think you'll love. I will show you where to find, test and compare good coding fonts and how to set them up in Visual Studio Code along with font ligatures with one major gotcha and how to fix it when it comes to font ligatures. Let's dive in. I'm in my Visual Studio Code here and if I want to change the coding font or the font for Visual Studio Code, I have to go into settings. Of course, I will use command comma shortcut to open the settings and I will search for font. There are a number of font related options you can change here and I suggest you look around and tweak them to your liking. But specifically, we're looking for font family option and this is the second option here on the screen that allows you to control the font family of the editor. Now, there are a number of font family options in Visual Studio Code for different parts of the interface, font family for editor, font family for code lens, font family for terminal, and so on. If you leave any of those additional font family fields empty, they will inherit the value from your main editor font family. Another option related to fonts in your editor that I suggest you enable are font ligatures. Now, some people like this, some people hate this. I personally love this and I always enable this. You will find this setting if you search for font ligatures, of course. And exactly as specified, you can edit this option in settings.json and you can set it to true, which will enable font ligatures or specifically to this CSS value of font feature settings. I will open it and as a rule of thumb, you want to have this option set to true but there are some fonts where you will have to set it differently. And if you want to learn more about it, and if you want to find out exactly how this works, I will go into details a little bit later in the video. So stick to the end and you will find out exactly why setting it true is not always enough to enable ligatures in your chosen font family. If you're wondering what font ligatures are, these are special characters created by various sequences of characters that are related to one another. I'll show you exactly here how this looks. For example, you might have double equals or triple equals sign in your code. And I'll just add it right here. Double equals sign is going to look like this as a font ligature and triple equals sign is going to look like this as a font ligature. As I mentioned, some people love this, some people hate this. This is available for a lot of the sequences of characters in your code. As another example, let's open HTML comment and so on and so on. All of those special symbols in your code can be font ligatures. If you disable font ligatures in your code editor, let's set this to false. Those special symbols will be turned into normal characters. In any case, I recommend you enable font ligatures. I love them. If you don't, well, then set this to false. I'll return this to true. Now that you know how to use coding fonts in Visual Studio Code and why you should use font ligatures, let's jump into the browser and let's open Coding Fonts website. This is a project originally created by CSS Tricks, rest in peace, and it's a really great resource if you want to check out various fonts and see how they look and how they work. I'll zoom in here a little bit. This features a number of very popular coding fonts so you can click around and select the one that you like. You can see how the font looks in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and you can see exactly which characters are available for the coding font, along with some other options. Is it free? Are the ligatures available? Are italics or is it variable font? Everything you will see right here on the page. Fantastic resource. If you're looking for a coding font, I recommend you check this out, play around with it and find exactly the font that you like. And here are the fonts that I like the most. Number one is JetBrains Mono. JetBrains is a company that creates a number of fantastic development tools for developers. And this is the font that I've been using for a long time in my code editor. I recommend it. I really love it. And you can see exactly how it looks as I click around right here. Another one of my favorites is Cascadia Code. Here it is. This is how it looks. It's designed by Aaron Bell. And as stated, it is a fun monospace font that includes programming ligatures designed to enhance the modern look and feel of the Windows terminal. A really fantastic feature of this website is that you can see exactly how font ligatures work. And not only that, you can also see how they look in light mode or in dark mode. I definitely recommend you check it out and you find your next coding font on coding fonts. Another font that I really like is Eoshevka and this one is a little bit different. I'll open it here. This font is designed by Belev Invis and it contains a number of different variations. I will open it in a new tab just so I can show you exactly how they look. If you scroll down on this website, you're going to see 
all the variations that are possible. So right here as a sans, as slab and a number of different weights, even italics and oblique versions are available. I'm on Mac here. So once I install this font, I'll be able to see it in my font book application. I'm sure that there are equivalent applications for Windows and Linux as well. So you can see exactly what your fonts are offering. And if you know what they are, please let me know in the comments so everyone can see exactly where can they find various properties of their fonts if they are using Windows or Linux. In any case, I will open FontBook application. And here are all the fonts that I have installed on my system. I will search for Ayoshevka. And here are the fonts that are available, Ayoshevka, Ayoshevka Fix, and Ayoshevka Term. These are all that are installed. And if I open the first one, I can find all different variations here in this drop-down menu. If you want to use any one of those variations, you do have to specifically enter it. So for example, if you want extra bold oblique version of this font, which is gonna look like this, in Visual Studio Code, you would specify it as extra bold oblique. Let me show you exactly how. I'll jump into Visual Studio Code now. And in my editor font family option, I will enter Ayoshevka. If I hit save, my font is immediately going to be changed to Ayoshevka. And just a note here, when you install a different font, you might need to restart your Visual Studio Code in order for it to work. In any case, this is how Ayoshevka looks by default. And now I can specify extra bold oblique to get exactly the variation that I wanted. This is how you can specify different variations of the font that you install on your system in Visual Studio Code. Another font that I've used for a long time and that I recommend is Fira Code. Let's find it here in Coding Fonts. It's a free font, it contains ligatures. I really like it, I've used it for a long time. I recommend you try it out, you give it a go. It's a little bit bolder and I think it looks and works really well. The last font that I want to show you and that it's not even listed here in this project is Monospace by GitHub. This font was designed fairly recently by GitHub. Let me open the website. This is not just one font. This is actually a super family of fonts for code. This font contains a number of different styles and number of different variations. By itself, it's a variable font. So you can play around with it. You can combine various versions of it. It's really fascinating that this can be configured exactly to your liking. And once you download the latest version, you're going to find in your phone book or similar application, exactly which styles are available. I'll search for Monospace here. And the version that I really like is Monospace Neon and this one. And of course, I like a little bit bolder, something like semi bold. So this is what I would be using if I were to use this particular font. The problem with this font though, is that font ligatures are not working by default. Let me show you exactly why. I'll jump back into Visual Studio Code and I'll set my font family as Monospace Neon. And now, as you can see here, font ligatures are set to true, but if I try them out, they will not work. And the reason for this is that this font is designed a little bit differently. If I jump back into browser and into documentation, you're gonna see that the ligatures for this particular font are specified in various sets. So you can enable just specific ligatures, you don't have to enable them all. And to enable them, you're gonna have to specify them as this string right here. So instead of setting code ligatures to true in Visual Studio Code, you will need to set them to exactly this particular string if you want to enable all ligatures or just to set that you want to enable specifically and you can see exactly which sets contain which ligatures right here in this page. So you don't have to enable all ligatures in your code editor. You can enable only the ligatures that you specifically want. In my case, I will enable all ligatures and I will set them right here. Once I hit save, immediately my ligatures will be visible in my code editor. These are my favorite coding fonts. What about you? What is your favorite coding font? Please let me know in the comments. I'd really like to know and I would really like to check it out. Thank you so much for your attention. My name is Aron Nambor. I will see and hear you in a different coding font or rather in the next video. And until then, I would like to thank my amazing patrons, Davor, Zvonko and Luca. Thank you so much for your generous support. It really means a lot. Bye.